Here we YouTube go. We're on my phone, not on my computer. Hello, everybody. Um, we should be live. Hi, y'all. There we go. I see Cheyenne hey. and Kathleen there. Hey, guys. Hopefully, hey guys. we'll get some people in. We'll give them a second. I know I haven't been on in a while, so they probably don't expect it. <laughs> We do have some craft stuff for you today. We've got a couple giveaways from each of us. And, um, you know, shout out in the chat. If there's something you're looking for, I'll let you know if I have that. I'm sure if Cindy's got it, she'll be willing to help you with that, too. But um, if y'all remember hey, last year. Hey, Kathleen. I got, hey, I sent you, Kathleen, I sent you a the tracking number on that gift that you bought to give to um um francis so i i mailed it to francis and i sent you the tracking number there we go so the other night I, can I, kept sitting there, I kept sitting there waiting to bid on something that i thought was pretty so i could send her a, a birthday gift and every time it was something i was interested in bidding on somebody would get it like bid up so high that i was just like okay i'll just wait for the next thing <laughs> next thing finally didn't come <laughs> yeah i ended real early so i'll have to find uh, something i have and send it to her i still got some christmas gifts that i had intended to send out that i never got sent out so some people will be getting like really belated christmas gifts from me <laughs> eventually or really early ones <laughs> yeah really early for this year <laughs> i'm beating the crowd guys i'm beating the crowd let's see uh is let this me, rebecca what? that's birthday is today is that rebecca. the same rebecca? in the chat oh no hers is not painting the roses red so that's not the same hey rebecca uh, becky, becky painting the roses red that passed away it's her birthday <gasps> she passed that's away why i posted the the song when i get where i'm going because oh, okay. anyway hey becky uh rebecca I'm uh, so Rebecca's been in our sales before though. So yes, I've seen some messages out. Some people get me confused because sometimes they'll change their screen name to something else. And then I'll be like, is that the same person? I can't remember. My memory is too bad to depend on. <laughs> we got about seven guys. When y'all are joining us, if you can just hit that thumbs up, share the video to somebody you think might be looking for items to craft with. We can always have a wide variety of things from sewing crafts, jewelry crafts, um, crocheting, knitting. I don't have I any thread, thread out today. So anyway, so there we go. Oh my gosh. So, because uh, I know everybody's going to want to know, I feel good. I feel Do good. That. I had a rough morning, but I feel real good. After lunch is when I start getting my energy. So anyhow, uh, <laughs> we'll see what the El Doctoro says Friday. I've so. changed my diet. I've actually, I've got energy again. I probably feel like I'm like five years younger or something. My heart rate is good. So we're all good. So, Do you need a wrench to bed? No, no, Cheyenne, you don't. The people that have wrenches on my channel are just... Some of the original few that I wrenches to kind of help me monitor the chat. Like I don't, I don't give everybody wrenches or any of that kind of thing to signify yeah. anything I important. Don't <laughs> so, <laughs> it's just my, it's people that I know very well that you know always kind of help me monitor my chat for the bad guys. <laughs> so. There are seven people here. I sent out some invites. We'll see if anybody else comes in. Yeah. They may be, they may be boycotting me because I won't listen to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm just, look here. I, I found this and I'll just show y'all a few of the things yeah. that I found today in the, the what I got from Pennsylvania. So look Wait, at this hair. Oh, this is look oh at yeah. Got the, blue ones or the ab and blue they're ab rhinestones those are pretty and, uh, and they're it's a sweater clip so hey jude yeah. hey jude there's jude so anyway that's really pretty thank you for uh, sharing kathleen hey perla look at this this one is real cute too some of them i need to clean but i get real nervous about cleaning stuff 
I'd rather let people clean it themselves. But look at that. Isn't he cute? Oh, my. I haven't seen anything like that before. It's so cute. He's a little doggy. But he's got some either really, he's really dirty right in here or he's got some wear. Mm -hmm. so, he's so cute, though. He's so <laughs> ugly. He's he's cute. Cute. <laughs> so, anyway. <laughs> but, oh, and this is, I thought this one was really interesting, too. This oh, is this Fran. She said it, she's starting a new craft resin pouring. Oh, yeah. It's like a koi fish, I guess. Yep. And he's a brooch. Those both of the dog in this one was a brooch. Hey, Perla, how are you, sweetie? Is that fish signed? Is that a signed one? Nope. Not signed. Hi, so, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. Did Jamie come in? Yep, there's mm -hmm. Jamie. Uh, hi, Jamie. Um, when uh um this is stuff I get from my friend in Pennsylvania. And so she finds things that are a lot different than what I find in my area. And so uh, she finds a lot of really nice vintage. Um, Jude said she's interested in that fish for her treasure chest. Okay. Okay, Jude, I will, I'll get back with you. Like I have never in, in all of the years that I've been selling jewelry and buying jewelry in mm -hmm. my area, I've never found Vandale, the Vandale brand. I don't think I have. But any. I've gotten it several times from her. Mm -hmm. So anyway, this one is, 12 karat gold field so but uh uh and then <laughs> like this is really cute uh i've got to do some research before next week but can you see that it's cufflinks and a tie bar and it says beef eater beef eater <laughs> yeah okay that one cufflink what's is the image on it? huh what's the image on it it's a man in a kilt <laughs> <sighs> cool one of them's in there upside down so anyway that is really cool see yeah so i gotta see what it is uh jude if you have any idea about the beef eater let me know so anywho so yeah i got a lot of stuff to go through so but uh it looks like there's about eight of us here if you want to go ahead and start okay okay so. let's see so I'll go ahead and show y'all. We're gonna. I've got two giveaways, and I think Cindy said she's got two giveaways. I do. One of mine is gonna be just one of these little miniature Jenga type wooden block sets. And if you ever watched some of Cindy's uh, Christmas videos from last year, she showed you how she used these for like crafting and stuff. So you can make things with those. And then I have come across, if you remember last year, sometime I'd come across these. Uh, dig out your own kind of treasure things well i found some more of them and i have this one that i'm going to do as a giveaway it's supposed to have fool's gold in there and then i have some other ones so i'm going to start with some of those if y'all are interested and uh i still haven't done mine from last year i still have, you still it. have it you gotta do a video on it that's what's fun well, about is that you i can think i'm gonna I, I still have the diamond and the gold one i think i'm gonna take them to church and do them as a Oh, uh, with, the kids, yeah. and with the kids so. yeah they love that my kids i let them have one to do and they liked it so rebecca my friend lives in the aliquippa area real close to pittsburgh and so uh she goes to auctions and buys most of them you think beef eater is a liquor okay that's cool so. <laughs> well that's interesting so we'll start hey, these, sure. um, we'll start them out like for a dollar and y'all can bid on them if you want. I'm going to have a few of each one of them because I'm going to try putting some on uh, eBay too to sell. This particular one says it has uh, precious crystals in it. And this one's an Egyptian pyramid. It comes with the brush and the little digger tool. But my advice when it comes to these things, soak them in water really good too. And if you have to, run them underwater because they can be hard to dig into. But uh, it's fun to find out, you know, what you find in there. I bid a dollar. So okay. how how many of those do you have? Um, I have quite a, quite a few. Um, but okay. Because I would like to have like. Of them. Because I don't want to like put three them different kinds. I would like to have three different kinds to uh, um, put, uh, put on my prize card at Children's Church. I okay. think my kids would love them. So. Okay. So, yeah. No, Cheyenne, they're not jewelry boxes. They're like treasure, they're like treasure hunts. Treasure hunts. This one's a pyramid, and you dig through there, and if you can see the label there, 
it says this one includes precious crystals. So on the back, it tells you the contents, one earthen block, which is the, um, the pyramid itself, two gemstones, one digging tool and one dusting brush. It's kind of like, I guess they're intended for, you know, children or whatever to dig through kind of like excavating and stuff, but they're fun for anybody. And if you want to do them as a video on your channel, as you know, kind of a fun thing to do that that's also cool. Cause I know Patsy Craftsy did hers live on YouTube. Cheyenne thing that made me think I had something else to get out that I was going to offer. Jude said a peace eater is a watchman at the Tower of London. And yes, there is also a gin by the same name. Cool. Uh, All right. If nobody else is interested, I'm going to sell this one to Cindy for a dollar. Uh, Are they plastic that could? Oh, no, no, no. You chip away at this until you reveal the real stones that are inside of it. Yeah. It's just like if you went you know, panning for gemstones, digging up stones you know, anywhere. But this is just, they put them purposely inside these. Things. And then you chip away at that until you find it in there. That's how those work. They're part of a, a brand called Adventure Club. It does all kinds of things like this. I guess make a lot of learning and experiment uh, type toys and things. All right. So we got you, Cindy, for this one. Thank you. Like I said, I would like to have several to put on my prize cart. My kids would love those. Okay. So I'll go ahead and pull you out one of each one of them then. And we'll get you. So oh, I have a have been having bunches of kids. <laughs> Last Sunday I only had fifteen, but the Sunday before that I had twenty four kids. Oh wow! Yeah, I told I told my pastor if if that keeps up, I was going to need a raise. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I've got one like this one. This one is the the mummy Egyptian okay. mummy excavation kit, and in this one you get a golden pharaoh out of it so we'll, we'll start that one at a dollar okay so i'm just watching the chat to make sure so but you got me one of each right i did mm -hmm. okay thank you you're welcome all right. I don't think anybody else is really interested in those. So we'll put those to the side. Okay. Here we can do this one. Um, buy it for a dollar. It's a wooden um, seahorse. You build, you know, you build it out of wood. Originally three dollars. You can paint it. You know, just it has a stand so it displays or whatever. Just something fun to do. Cheyenne wanted a mummy for a dollar. Cheyenne has mummy for a dollar. So she wants a mummy. Okay. Yep. I got to Cheyenne. I was thinking with this wooden one here, you could like glue your broken rhinestone jewelry on it or something like that, and it would turn out looking really pretty. Uh, that is cool. But it, buy it now for a dollar if anyone's interested. I'll Just buy it now for a dollar. 3D wood puzzle. You want yeah, this I'll one? Yeah. Okay. My, kid, gotcha. my kids are always liking wooden stuff. They're always asking me to get wooden things for them to paint, wooden yeah. stuff. Yeah. So. Okay. I'm going to do one more thing. These would be another. This is what I told Cindy. I didn't know if anybody would even want them, but it's a giant deck of cards. Now I don't know that it's a whole complete deck of cards, but for crafting purposes, if you want them, they'll just be a dollar. But you've got, you know, you've got your big image cards like the Joker card. You got it in black and white and a color. Then you've got like you know your face cards and stuff, and so you could cut these out for scrapbooking. That kind of thing, you know, and they do have like pineapples on the back side. So if you wanted to use the pineapple and cut it out 
or whatever, but just a dollar for this deck. Diane is saying, give me one of each of those things like I got. Okay. I guess the, the treasure okay. things. Yeah. Okay. One's got gemstones, one's got a pharaoh, and one's got fool's gold. So, oh, if nothing else, if you got grandkids, it'll be fun for them. Something to yeah. do with them. Easter's coming up, you know, in a couple months or whatever, and you could put those in an Easter basket if you make those. Like, I make my kids every year. Three. She's got three different kinds, Cheyenne. So yep, got gotcha. you. Yeah, gotcha. so it'll be three, three dollars. Mm -hmm. Hey, buying space. Hey, Myra, are you still in the hospital? Oh, she's in the hospital. Yeah, she's been in the hospital for a while. Anybody mm -hmm. interested in these for crafting or scrapbooking? Yeah, you want the great big cards for crafting. Just a giant deck of cards. They're like as big as my head. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna set those to the side. Go ahead and do several more since I don't have so much stuff. Okay. Okay. All right. So for Valentine's Day coming up, I had went ahead and I had picked cards up were dollars, Cheyenne. Cheyenne, the cards were a dollar for the set. Mm -hmm. You want those, sweetie? No, she doesn't know if there's 52 of them yet. Yes, she's still I can count them for you in just a second, though, and let you know if it's a She'll count them when I'm up and let you know, okay? Yeah, I can do that. So these are, I've got table runners. They're lace table runners and then I've got lace doilies so in the doily packs you get two in each pack and then you got a table runner so I thought um, I would put them together as a set and it would be um, five dollars for the set you get two doilies and one of the table runners it has little tassels at the end because that's how much they would have been four or five dollars. Okay. They're brand new. Anybody want some doily? I've got this set. It's got a red set. And let's see. I think I got a couple of red sets and like one white set. I think mm -hmm. I got yeah. I got three red sets and one set that's white. So Jude wants a set. Is that what you're saying, Jude? That you want one? Okay. You want a set with the doilies and the runner? Because I put, I bagged them as like little sets or whatever. So, yeah. I'm trying to see if she says anything else. Okay. Got you, Jude. Thank yeah. you. She's going to decorate for Valentine's Day. I kept one. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it on my table. And here, I'll take out the uh, white one. You can see it, too. I have two tables, and you can't sit at neither one of them. They're just loaded down, ready to move. And so here's the image of what it looks like when it's on the table. That's really pretty. The little tassels and then the doilies. And they're pretty large. They're 12-inch diameter doilies. Don't do your initials, Jamers. <laughs> oh, goodness. Uh, Cheyenne's asking for the white set, please. Okay. Got you, Cheyenne. You could even tie-dye that if you wanted to. That would be fun. You can set those doilies over cakes and dust powdered sugar over them and then lift it and it leaves the impression of the doily too. Oh, yes. And for I taking know. pictures and stuff like that. So I got two more red sets. Five dollars. Spray paint it on wood. Yeah, that would be cool too. Mm -hmm. Use it as a pattern to spray paint through wood. Yep. Onto wood. That would be real neat. 
Lisa. The good thing about Jamer, she just admits it. She admits that she's naughty. So anyway. <laughs> hey, there's 12 people in here. Thanks, everybody, for coming in and spending your afternoon with us. Yes, thank you. And there's okay. two more sets if anybody decides they do want one. Let's see what else I have over here. Get these little things out. So these are, it says plastic canvas 3D shapes is what it says. And I have heart shaped ones. I've got three of the heart shaped ones. And I have one of the round ball ones. As far as I know, there may be one more down in there. I'll double check. But these are from 1984. They say they're from 1984 right there. And they're needle needle form, um, 3D shape. Says you can glue them, stitch them, fill them with potpourri, cover with fabric, versatile for any use. You know so, what that ball shape one? You could line the inside of it with a uh, saran wrap and make you some chocolate bombs. Sure. Yeah, you could do that too. Make little Christmas ornaments, I guess, maybe out of them too. Or, but yeah, that was the ring idea of putting them together and doing like the cross stitch on them and filling them with potpourri. I liked that idea. But these would be cute for Valentine's Day if you wanted to make. They have a pattern on the back how to make. This one tells you how to make a ladybug keychain. It says out of this. Oh, that's one. cute. And this one shows you how to do a. Um, it says a magnet. It's called the checked heart magnet. So how much? I don't know. Uh, um, we'll we'll sell them for a dollar a piece. So I got three hearts and one uh, 3D round one. Let me make sure I don't have another round one because I normally buy more than just one of each thing. But I don't know. Yep, just the one round one. It looks like. Yep, three hearts and one sphere shape and in there there's one two three four five i guess or is it six five per package it says five per package seven mm -hmm. per pa seven of these five of these in there it says mm -hmm. give me one of the hearts and it says you it shows you how to whip stitch, continental stitch, and cross stitch on the back too. Yep. Give me one of the hearts. Okay. All right, I got you for one heart. So we got two hearts left and one of the spheres left. They want to know how your bus is coming or are you, are you still working on it? Okay, so my son was living with me, and then he decided he wanted to move back down there because he missed all his friends. But while he was here, we did get the floor installed. So I have the floor, and I have some footage of the floor. I just got to get together, put the footage together, and then that video will be up on my other channel. So it's coming, and when it gets a little bit warmer, I'll be more apt to go out there and get more done. <laughs> I didn't know Colt moved home, but I hadn't got to talk to you so much since we both yeah. moved <laughs> He was about to get a like a real good job up here working where my cousin works at. And I mean, every time he would be off from work, he would run down there and stay with his friends. And he'd be like, I miss my friends. I miss everything down here. So, yeah, he went back down there. <laughs> so now he's living at his friend's house with them. All right. So I don't see any interest in these. I'm going to set those to the side as well. I'm going to do here. I got some of these little jewelry making kits too. These will be a dollar as well. I have them in Bohemian. You can make the Bohemian jewelry set. They look like that is an idea that they give you on the front. I've got the tassel jewelry set. That's the little ideas on the front. And then this one's called the Flower Power jewelry set. And how much are you selling those? These for? would be a dollar a piece. Yeah. I want one of each. You want one of each? Okay. Yeah. Try not to write on the thing so that I can. Uh, oh, I did that already. I did on my thing. So. <laughs> okay. I did that on the other ones, but I won't do it on these. I'll use my sticky notes. Well, if it's got plastic part, you can write on the plastic, right? Cindy on the plastic part. So, because I can remove it, but if it's on the cardboard, I can. 
So it's you'll okay. Have to, you'll have to mark it out on those because <laughs> I had done it on those. I should think more about that because I know that some people want to resell things too. They might, like you might have wanted to put it in your booth or something. I should have thought about it. One of each for you two. All right. Let's see. We got a flower, bohemian, and where's the tassel? Oops. Do you... Do you want an extra of one of the others? Because I ran out of the tassel. I only have these two left, and I have two of each of them. So do you would you just like one of each of these? Or do you want an extra one of the flower or the bohemian? Like the bohemian comes with that like um, jute cord. And this one comes with like stretchy looking floss or something. And then it has it, the instructions inside with it. I like the little rainbow beads. No, just the two. Okay, gotcha, Kathleen. Hey, Anna. How are you, sweetie? Hey, Anna. For her granddaughter, she says. All right, that's cool. So I got two left. Another Bohemian and another Flower Power jewelry making kit. If anybody's interested, they're a dollar a piece. I also have these that I'll do for 50 cents a piece. It's a bag of wooden beads. Crafter Square brand. So those come from the Dollar Tree, apparently. But I bought them in a whole big old bag of different craft supplies. But colorful wooden beads for 50 cents if anybody wants them. Also have some more of these that uh, the chalkboard things and on the back they have the little uh, clothes pin where you can clip them onto something like you want to write the price on something and stick them next to it you can do that those are uh 50 cents you'll take the wood ones okay gotcha And Cheyenne wants the clothespin ones. Got you, Cheyenne. Okay. And I have these right here. These are gift card holder tags. They look like little Starbucks coffee mugs. They say, say teach, caffeinate, and repeat. Now you could you can actually probably put something over that if you wanted to if you don't like what it says, but they're little gift tags and you can also slide like little gift cards down into the back. It has a little pocket for that. These you can have these for fifty cents if anyone's interested. You may want to just use them for scrapbooking, do whatever you know, because they're cute because they're like the little coffee mugs. All right, I'm going to put those to the side. If anybody changes their mind on any of those items, just let me know. And I'm going to switch it back to you, Cindy. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm going to start out. I have 15 of these. Um, they are a heavy card stock, blank card that you can do what you want to with. There are 15. Uh, April Ch Cheyenne's talking to you about she wanted the square wooden ones. Is that what she got? Yes. So I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So I have in this bag. There's 15 of them. I have four blue, one orange, five green. Nope. Yep. Five green and five yellows, and they all have 
a um matching envelopes they have the envelopes with them mm -hmm. and um i'm going to sell these for a dollar fifty if you would like these a dollar fifty your word will be cardstock a dollar fifty cardstock will be your word these are great for making cards in fact i have some that i've made cards with these um in scrapbooking using my scrapbooking stuff anyway if anybody wants those there's 15 of them um card stock and and she said don't forget to count the yeah <laughs> i'm glad she said that because i did sit there and forget and i'll tell you how big across they are five and a half by four and a half okay i got cheyenne on the colored cardstock cards for a dollar fifty thank you cheyenne There we go. And then I have some greeting cards. And these are nearly all flower. There are 10 of this design right here. And they all have an envelope. There are 19 total cards in this, okay? 19 totals. They're blank on the inside. So we have 10 of these. They have the envelope, the matching envelope. Then there are two of these, and they have a matching envelope. Then we'll go in here because these are all different. Like I said, there are 19 of these, okay? You have this rose, and it is blank on the inside. And it is, these are done by Joni Erickson Tata. These are from 1993. Joni Erickson Todd had painted this scene. If you don't know who Joni is, she's paraplegic from a diving accent, and she's a motivational speaker. This one here is just a thank you card. This one here is just a thank you card. This one matches it. Let's see. There's, and then this one is violets and white roses and then the pansies. Okay, and there are uh, 19 of these cards. If you would like these cards for a dollar fifty for all 19 of them, just type in the word cards, cards, 19 of them. There was only one of the Joni Erickson Tata cards, but 19 cards with the envelope. A dollar fifty if you want them for that. Type in the word cards. Anybody interested in these? You're a paraplegic from an ATV accident. Myra wants the cards. Okay. Uh, 19 cards. All of 50. Myra. Thank you, Myra. So, um, I have this book right here. It's called Mixed and Stitch. And I think I got this at the, um, thrift store, the Veterans Town Thrift Store. Anyway, it's all kinds of stitching and crafting little crafty projects. This book was originally $24.99, and it's not even, the spine on it hasn't even been broke. You can tell it's not been broke. I looked this book up. It sells from uh, 5 to $8 on uh, eBay. If you would like this book for $3, $3. Uh, stitch will be your word, okay? Stitch will be your word. There are no advertisements in this book, and in the back it has patterns for the project. There are no advertisements, so I will be able to mail this uh, media shipping. So, if you would like that book for $3, just say uh, Stitch. And it can go media shipping. Because books weigh so much, 
if you mail them all together, a lot of times when I sell a book, I mail them separately because they weigh so much. Rebecca says stitch. Thank you. Mixed and stitch book. Three dollars, Rebecca. Thank you very much. Okay. Now I have something just a little bit different. And I'm going to offer these. And we're going to start bidding on these. We're going to start the bid at a dollar. And it's going to be choice. Okay. So I have. I know where that came from. <laughs> trinket box. And it is taped together, but the lid in the top is there. We have a heart trinket box. Pretty. You start bidding on these at a dollar, and you'll get a choice of what I'm offering. Okay. And then um, Cheyenne's at a dollar. Cheyenne is in at a dollar. Oh, I'm looking. I can't help myself when I go thrift. I, if I see little crystal boxes or glass boxes like that, I have to pick them up. <laughs> okay. I need to, I'm going to pull this off. And then this one is going to be the third one that will be your choice in that one, okay? Uh, I'm trying to keep the ones together the same size, okay? Because I have three that are this size and three that are small. So, anyway. My is 25. And this one is the third one. And it says, it don't say anything. On the back of it, it says the Toscany Collection. T-O-S-C-A-N-N-Y. Toscany. So we've got two hearts. We've got this kind of heart. And I'm going to tape that lid on there. So that right, 175 with Myra. Did I get that clamshell from you? Yes. I think it was something where I did a, I had put jewelry in it and it was when I was still doing jewelry auctions. Oh, okay. <clears throat> Cheyenne's at two. I've been kicking this box around. The yellow flyers are real pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. Flyers at two and a quarter. I took these to my booth and then I sold several of them, but then these were just sitting there, and I thought, I'm refreshing my booth. Uh -huh. <laughs> Guys, I shed worse than a puppy dog, so if you get something that's got Cindy hair on it, just save it for DNA in case you need to prove Dave done away with me. <laughs> Cheyenne is so, out. out. So, okay. Myra. I moved my wire. No. Uh, all of that stuff fell down mm -hmm. today. Can you see number two again? Okay. Number two was the clamshell. The clamshell. The heart. Or the heart with the yellow flowers. You can have one. You can have but all of them. You can whatever you want. So. That'll be two and a quarter a piece. So, no, I was over there digging through those little drawers, seeing about some stuff for the craft sale, and all of that come crashing down on me. Oh, no. <laughs> well, anyway. Myra, which one would you like, sweetie? Heart, crystal heart, clamshell, or the painted heart? They're two and a quarter a piece. So. Heart with flowers. The heart with the flowers. Okay. Cheyenne, would you like either one of them at that price? Either one of the ones that are left. Me too, Jude. Who wants to be knocked out <laughs> by their stuff? So, okay, that one's Mara's. She said pass. Okay. Does anybody else want either a clamshell or a heart for two and a quarter? Whoever says it first will be the ones that get it if you want either one of y'all. 
anybody wants. That one is a clamshell. This one looks like real crystal. It's really heavy. <laughs> so. Usually when I pick them up, that's what I'm looking for. I, I don't tend to get the glass ones that much, but I'm this looking for This one feels just like glass. It may yeah. be crystal, but anybody? No? Okay. Okay. I have one more set of little trinket box, and we're going to start these at 50 cents. So you have I'm gonna grab me something to drink real quick. My mouth is this dry. that is like looks like a little musical lyre with uh, a flower on it. You have sorry, I didn't. I didn't remember that I was going to add these until I saw them all ago over there. So, okay. The more clear is the crystal. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. And this one here says Imperial Porcelain. You have this one. It's a little heart. Oh, that's pretty. And then this one does not have a lid. And it says something on the bottom of it, too. Let's see what it says. <laughs> yeah, let's just see what that says. Yeah. Home Co. Home Co. This one does not have a heart. I mean, a lid. And I don't think it's designed to have a lid, to tell you the way. Because this is all a, all ridgy. Mm -hmm. I think it's just designed just like that. So maybe it's a tea light holder or something. It may be. I'm wiping it out because it's got like looks like tape on the bottom of it. So we're at a dollar fifty with Cheyenne. We have the little heart, the little music lyre, lyre, however you say that. L Y R E. Oh, uh, let me just show you this because uh, if this is the one you want, you'll want to know this. Just right in here, as Barbie says, there's a little flea bite right on the edge of that rim. So, okay. There's a little flea bite right on the edge of that little rim. See it? Right there. So, there's no broken spots on the outside of it. But on the inside of that little rim is just a little flea bite. And there's no name or anything on the bottom of this one, okay? My Sorry, anything out? Myra's at two fifty. Are you done, Miss Anna? Um, look, watching to see what Miss Anna says. Miss Anna is out. Okay, Miss Myra, which of these do you want? This heart that has the hinge. The little lyre, or however you say it, little musical instrument, or the little heart with just the little edge. You're done. So, and it's two fifty on this one. <laughs> and you can have one or all of them, whatever you want. Heart with flowers. Okay, the little heart with the flowers. Small heart with flowers. Anybody want the others? And her bid was two fifty on that. That's Myra. Anybody interested in the other ones? The liar or the oh, just the little heart. The price on those is two two fifty is what we bid up to. So. Okay, if you want to go back to you, you can. You sure? I don't have too, too much more. <laughs> but um, Okay, I don't see anybody else there. Let's do a giveaway then. Okay. I think the numbers I have in my little, my little spinny ball are 1 to 60. 
So even though we have 11 people in here, we're going to do one to 60 is the number. And this one will be for one of those treasure, treasure excavation kits. Okay. And after you do yours, we can give away one of mine too. Okay. All right, guys, y'all put a number in one to 60 and then I'll spend the little bingo ball thing and one of the little numbers will come out. Even the sound effects. <laughs> I'll put my number in. Okay. That's again, like I was trying to see if I could win on yours the other night so I could send the gift to uh, to her as well. And I still couldn't even, I couldn't even win anything. <laughs> couldn't win, couldn't buy. I was like, Ugh. Last night I thought it was like every time I bid on something at Barbie's, I got outbid. So I left. That's why I hope Barbie doesn't it. Come do it. That's why I hope Barbie doesn't think that I don't try, like that I didn't want to come to her auction. But I learned early on that hers is so competitive that I'll just get upset and I just won't get anything. <laughs> so I have to avoid it. <laughs> it's very well, I finally won. I finally won later in the evening. You have to wait till everybody gets tired. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> That's the trick. <laughs> yeah, wait till everybody gets tired. So I would leave and come back and leave and come back. So. All right. I think everybody's got their numbers in, but I'm not sure we got 12 watching. So if you're out there and you want to put your number in, feel free. Oh. If you're silently observing, make yourself known. Yeah. Introduce yourself. Say hello. Mm -hmm. Did you leave Moonstone, Mama? Is Jamie still in here? I don't know. See where my Jamers went. Yeah, that's true, too, Jude. Certain people like pretty similar things and can make it more competitive. So I really like those glasses. Are they new? There is Rebecca's number. My eyeglasses? Uh-huh. Yeah, I got yeah, them. You got them last year at the end of the year, didn't you? Mm -hmm. so yeah, I love them. <laughs> they've got new glasses and they moved his bifocal line up mm -hmm. because he could never see out of the bifocal line through the bifocals on the old ones. Yeah. And so they had the bifocal line too small, so too low. So he really likes these. He I'm lucky so them. far. I don't have the bifocals, but I do have the correction for astigmatism in, in this eye. All right, let's see what it comes out to be the number is 24 let's 24 see is the number hey patsy cheyenne is in at 14. i believe she's going to be the closest the closest For, well yeah 14 that's 10 away uh judah is 14 away okay i'm 30 away so yeah. All right. Well, then Cheyenne, well, you you're, the 14? Winner. you're the winner. Oh, 24. Yeah. Cheyenne won that one. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jamie. There's Patsy. Hey, Patsy. Yep. She just joined us. So I'll give one of mine away and you can spin the wheel for it. They can. Uh, do you want to spin the wheel again and just use this? No, because you didn't put a number in. So. I can I can put a number in. I'm well, let's, have, let's have Patsy and uh, mm -hmm. and Jamie and you put a number in, and then we'll spin it and use all the same numbers. How's that sound? Okay. Um, let's see what number do I want. Jamie, hey Lori, put Laura put in a number. We're doing a drawing, one to sixty. Put in one. a number. Jamers put in a number. Oh, I'll show what I'm giving away. I'm giving away a little pill box that says Nashville on it. You can always have that buffed out and put something else on it. Mm -hmm. so, uh, pick a number, another number, Laura, because uh, Jude has 38. Jamie, yeah. Patsy put in a number. 
the numbers that are already taken are 14, 44, 38, 1, 54. And well, 54 I don't count because that's my number. So I'm oh, not yeah. giving it to myself. Okay. okay. And 38 and 22. Okay. She, yeah, she did the 22 in place of that one. Okay. Patrick's that. got in five. Jamers, where are you? Okay. Jamers is not minding. <laughs> there we go. Okay. We're all ready. Okay. What'd you pick? Okay, let's see. Got to dump the ball. Where's it at? There we go. The number is, let me flip it back over to me, 35. Oh, Jude wins this time. <laughs> Jude has the <laughs> best luck. <laughs> she's, she's getting tired of me laughing at her, though. <laughs> Nobody else is closer than 38 is, are they? I don't think so. No. Three uh, away. That's so nobody funny. else is even in the 30s at all except for her. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. <laughs> It'll come next week, Jude, with your other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> She's like... <clears throat> All right, so where were we at? We're going to go back to me. To you to sell. Okay. Let's see. I have a full on Jenga set. Now there's something to this. My kid, this was this was our game. We drew. They drew on them. They they just marked all over them. So if these are something you want for crafting and you want to paint them and use the wooden blocks to you know build some kind of craft with. These are full size Jenga pieces, but this is a dollar, just a dollar for this. If you need it for the wood and you're going to paint on it because the pieces have been marked on. The kids drew all kinds of little pictures all over them. Maybe some of them don't have writing on them, but it looks like a lot of them do. You can also sand that off. So Yeah, you could do that too. But um, definitely, if you're just going to paint over it all anyway and use it to do wooden crafts with, then that's that. Mm. So that's just a dollar for this Jenga game. Yeah, I think I think J uh, Jamie is lagging. Oh, okay. So there's her number. Yeah, I see okay. her number. <laughs> yeah, well, you were you weren't the winner anyway. It wasn't close enough. So anyway, uh, yeah. But yeah, yeah. Hey, I want those interest. for a dollar. Listen to me. I want those for a dollar, but I don't want them in the box. I want you to take them out. And put oh them yeah, in. I can do that. I can put yeah. them in the bag or something. I don't, I don't want to. I don't want them. Yeah, I want them for a dollar, but I don't want them in the box. Okay. Because I'm just gonna craft with them. You know that. Yeah. I'll just write your name on the box then, because it won't hurt nothing. Because you don't want it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right. Let's see what else I have over here. Y'all ever been to like Cracker Barrel restaurants and seen those little games that they have on the table? That's what, Barrel. that's what this is. These are like, it's a two piece wooden game set. This would be a dollar too. You've got um, two player tic-tac-toe and two game boards with, uh, and a solitaire. Yeah. And a solitaire pegboard game. They're classic travel games. They said, or whatever. They're just small little games. It's made by the brand Totes, it says. If anybody wants it, that's a dollar. It's little wooden boards with little either plastic or wooden pegs. That's never been used. The pegs are plastic. The boards are wooden. But that's there too. If nobody else wants it, I want it. But I was giving people a chance. <laughs> We're going to have some crap with me. Don't ride on it. Don't ride on it. Don't ride on it. Okay. <laughs> children's church. Okay, that one's for church. All right. Yeah, children's church. All right. I wrote it on a sticky note. There you go. 
My shipping, my shipping is based off of actual, you know, weight. If I can get it in a flat rate box, I'll put it in a flat rate box, but I do the best I can to get as low as I can. I use um, pirate ship when I ship. So if you're, I know you sell too. So if you're familiar with those rates, that's the same kind of rates you would get with me. And that's how my shipping goes too. I, I charge actual shipping. So let's see what else I got over here. Y'all have seen these before, but if anybody's interested, this is a Buccella vintage um, Santa's cross stitch thing. I still got that. I've got a Disney Cinderella cross stitch kit. Oops. That one right here. Um, that one would be $5 for the Disney one, but just a dollar for, for the Buccella. And then I have these. These were something that I had found during the holidays, too. And I can't remember if they were in any of the holiday sales we had. But this one, it looks like it's maybe, maybe they're created by a local church or something. But this one's called By the Chimney with Care, Pattern Number Two, Art to Heart, Nancy Halverson. And it's it's uh how to make, you know, it's like the pattern that you need to make these stockings. So I have those, and that would be just a, a dollar. Um, and then this one is Fruitful Harvest. It's a scarecrow named Ebenezer is what they named him. And it has all the instructions. These are from the 90s. has all the instructions um, on how to, how to make this little guy here, this little scarecrow guy. That's another one for a dollar if you're interested. Rebecca, you're interested in the Santa cross-stitch? Okay, gotcha. All right, Santa's sold. Let's see what else is over here. I don't remember who it was, but they had bought some of those crafting DVDs from me. And I'm not sure if this was one of the ones that was supposed to be a part of that set or not, but this one is season 100, all 13 episodes of the Mixed Media Workshop is what it's called. And it says on here, um, they teach you warm and felted, three ways to use dye and felted jewelry. No, one, episode 102, not, not stencil shy, tips and tricks for using stencils in your art. Um, how to use gel, uh, three ways to create texture on jelly plates. Um, use ink pads in journals with water stencils and more. So they teach you a lot of different stitching, three awesome ways to canvas, to use canvas and artwork. So it's a whole bunch of episodes of different types of crafting and stuff like that. But if anyone's interested in this, this would be $2 for this DVD. You got two DVDs in there. It says create inspiring mixed media art with well-known artists and hosts, Julie Fifan Balzer and Jen Mason. These zany friends will show you the latest and greatest in art, journaling and bookmaking, collage and assemblage, mixed media stitch, jewelry, printmaking and more. Along with all the basics. You started felting. How's that going, Rebecca? Didn't you just started felting too? Didn't you, Jude? Is it like making the little animals? I've seen some videos where they'll like ball it up and then you poke it, poke it, poke it, poke it, poke it until it like fluffs up or something. Is it like no, that? that? I done gave you a piece of my nanner. I have these wooden. Um, these wooden accents too. These had sold, but the person did not uh, get their order. So these were sold for, I guess, um, they were, we just say a dollar a piece. If anybody wants these, they're little, they're wooden accents that you can, you know, glue on to your other wooden projects or frames or whatever you're doing. Yes, sculpting with wood, wool with needles. Okay. Yeah, I've watched some videos. It's so cute what people come up with with those that you can make. And I've seen some Etsy sellers 
and what they have for sale. If I have to pick it up and throw it away, I'm not never doing that. I know you do a lot of different projects on your channel. I'll come watch. So those are available for a dollar a piece if anybody wants those. Um, we got some rubber stampers. Here, let's do this little thing. Is anybody interested in this? This is one of those like glass where they 3D etch inside of it. It's on a little stand with a felted bottom. It's got some little hummingbirds and flowers if you can see them. Can y'all see the hummingbirds and flowers in there? And I guess that's either crystal or glass. But we can All start. I see his fingerprint. There we go. <laughs> oh, there, 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 there. I see him now. Yeah. So, uh, and yeah, I, I can wipe off that, the fingerprints because that's probably from me pulling it out the box. It does have the box. It says trendy crystal. Is what it says on the box. We can start this at a dollar if anybody's interested. Anybody like hummingbirds and flowers or like to collect little crystal figurines and stuff. It's about, let's see how tall it is. It's three and a half inches tall. It does have this also, if you look at the bottom, the, the part on the bottom picks up multiple colors like green and purple and stuff like that cool. too. And you started at a dollar on that? Yeah, starting at a dollar on this one. You got shine in at a dollar. Hey, okay, you're... Oops, I dropped the box. Do you have a new ring on? My This one? Yeah. Yeah, that is an Avon from 1975. It's an Avon Sterling Silver heart ring. I figured since Valentine's coming up, I would... That's cool. Little... I've never seen you wear that one before. I forget where I found it. I think it was in a lot of jewelry that I bought locally. And I got it like right at the end of the last year sometime. But yeah. Oh, I was trying to show the box. <laughs> it comes in this little box. It says trendy crystal like this. And it has the little thing in there. All right. We have Cheyenne at a dollar. Anyone else? You have one with a, a dandelion seed and a wolf. That's cool. Yeah. I've seen my daughter has some up there from that movie Twilight. Somebody had did the the characters from Twilight in, in these like cubes like this, but they're square. And she's got them up there with her collectible glass and everything. So we have China in at a dollar. I don't see anybody else coming in on this. Yeah, and you can unscrew the base from it if you want. I don't know why you would, but I guess maybe it's for if you want to store it. All right, no one else is interested. We'll start calling it for Cheyenne. One, two, three. It's sold to you, Cheyenne. Thank you. Jude says, oh, Team Edward here. Yeah. Yeah. I can't remember oh. what it is that's on hers that she's got up there. But we had went, we had stopped off by the road and uh, somebody was selling like a, like a yard sale or something. And they had some of them. And what they told us was they used to do that kind of stuff. They had the machine that would etch into it and do all that. And that was some of the stuff that they had left. And when she saw that, she's like, oh, I got to have that. So I was like, get it, get it. <laughs> if you want it. Um, here are some crafty little applique flowers. In real pretty spring colors. And they have little rhinestones in the center. And they're new. Um, I'm thinking they're maybe Dollar Tree or something. Tw oh, it says from 2012 Brother Sister Design Studios. Maybe, oh, Hobby Lobby. So these come from Hobby Lobby. But if you're interested in those, those would just be a dollar for some of those. First person to type they want it can have those for a dollar. I 
Okay, we got Cheyenne for a dollar. Thank you, Cheyenne. I have four of these, what I call pop sockets, but you know, they're the little phone that you put on the back of your phone, and then you put your finger through there to help you hold the phone. These, I'll sell these for a dollar. I've got two in the pink. They're little cats. I got two in the gold. I had sold some before, but these were the ones I had left. Two pink, two gold, dollar a piece. They're calling them cell phone rings. <laughs> and they just have an adhesive on the back of them where you stick them. Cheyenne wants the pop sockets, all of them. Okay. Gotcha, Cheyenne. I had one on the back of my phone and uh, eventually after a while it came off and then I bought another one and now it's done come off. Like it has the little sticky adhesive still there, but it was some kind of little furry one where you can stick multiple fingers through it and hold it. My phone. I know what happened to my phone. <laughs> huh. It was here somewhere. Maybe if somebody called out. Oh, duh. <laughs> oh my god I got it propped up here watching the video with it <laughs> oh alright here are some valentine stickers y'all got any valentine's crafts that you're working on or anything these right here will be 50 cents if you want some valentine stickers this one says plant one on me that one says you light up my day and then you got one that says love Sorry, Anna. Cheyenne beat you to them, hon. Oh, yeah. Put some E6000 on them. Okay. I just didn't want it to, like, mess up my case or anything. That's why I hadn't tried to do anything more permanent. <laughs> I have one of those little sticker things on my phone that you slide your credit card and your driver's license in. And I love it. Nobody yeah. interested in the Valentine stickers. For 50 cent okay oh. oh you know what i got you anna i had another one that was down in the bottom anna, i got you got one more for you it's, it's one of the pink ones i didn't know it was down there it's stuck behind some stuff look you there it's your lucky day <laughs> it was meant to be Kathleen, you want the stickers for 50 cent? Okay, I got gotcha. you. I see. Anybody need embroidery floss? I've got a whole bag like this of different colored embroidery floss. And then there's also, I don't think there's a needle. Yeah, there is one little needle in it. It says counted cross stitch needles. I'm not sure if that's what that needle really, yeah, it must be because it does have the wider hole in it. So there is one needle in there and then there's a bunch of different, bunch of different colored uh, embroidery floss. So that is a dollar if anybody would want, wants it. Plus the yellow, gray, dark blue, minty, pretty little greenish blue color there. I like that color. That's my color. The, um, black and brown white pretty orangey gold kind of color there all right rebecca i gotcha <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> uh, i have embroidery floss today too oh, you got some too okay yeah all right i had showed these i think before and i have a few of them left they're called finishing touches, acid free and lignin free, which I don't have a clue what that means. Add a handcrafted accent to scrapbooking, card making, or craft projects. So I got three of these left. They're little little Hawaiian shirts with the camera and a little map. So they're like you know for travel type uh, things. They're from 2004, made by Cardinal Brands. And uh, if you want all three of them, you can have all three of them for a dollar. 
all three of them. You've had a screaming baby. <laughs> hey, Barbie, how are you? She must be at the grandbabies today. Yeah. Did you snow melt, Barbie? You had to go back to work? Oh, they got snow. Yeah, yesterday they got ice. There was they one day. Two to four inches, but they didn't get that much. There was one day right before Christmas, I think it was, that some snow flurries came down here. And it lasted all of like five minutes and it was over. Uh, it snowed in Florida the other day. Mary was posting that. I was like, freaked out. <laughs> it's the end of the world if it snows in Florida. <laughs> all right. If anybody decides they do want those, a dollar. I'm going to put that there for scrapbooking or whatever crafting you want to do with them. Why or is he hell? screaming, Barbie? They want to know why he's screaming. These are what that embroidery floss was wrapped around. These little, I guess there's some, I don't know what you would call them, maybe like cardboard bobbins or something. Um, but I'm going to stick them in there with yours, Rebecca, since in case you might need them for, for that. Those are cool. I have a whole, <laughs> I have a whole, uh, one of those storage containers full with cards like that. Here, I, I still have one of these too. This is a, um, you know, it's Provo Craft Cuddle Bug. Um, that's the original price, four ninety nine, but um, I'll sell it to you for two dollars. Anybody that wants it, it's one of those die cuts. I still have that one left. If anybody needs a little airplane one, hi Barbie. I have that. I bought one when you had them before. Got awakened by the dog. <laughs> So an airplane one left if anybody needs one of those. If you have a cuddle bug, that's a great price on them. And you can use them with some of the other ones too. Yep, the Sizix, the um any kind of uh of uh die cutter. When is the baby whisperer? Is he not there? He's probably at home doing shipping. Here's something that my aunt gave me. Um she thought I could use it for, you know, my jewelry displays or whatever. But I do have that kind of stuff already and didn't really need them. It's like that, these, the little plastic ones that are coated with like a velvet. These, this is a ring holder one here. And then I have, let's see, one, two, three, four of these little trays that can hold rings or earrings or However, so if anybody wants any of these, that'd just be a dollar a piece. Or if you want all of them, I'll do all of them for like $4 if you want the whole thing. But I just know that I don't need them. Okay, Cheyenne, you want just the ring holder one? Or would you like all of them for $4? Because you could have these four plus this one for $4 if you want all of it. Yes, just the ring. Okay, I got you. It looks like it holds like the band style rings. Like the thinner bands like mine. Let me see. I don't think it'll hold those up. But if they're the like men's band style. Well, you can prop them in there. Like that one would prop in there like that. But if it's a wider band, it'll sit straight up in there. Oh, that would be neat though. To have them propped up like that to do auctions with. Yeah, auctions. And and a choice. Photos for online selling and different stuff. Yeah. But I got you, Cheyenne, for the ring one. So I've got these four right here. You can use for sorting trays or to, or for, like she said, on if you do online live sales and you can place them in each one and, and, and display them that way. It's kind of weird. Some of the shapes, I guess, maybe for like brooches or, or something for like bigger that. Bigger brooches. But bigger. I got four of those if anybody needs those. She needs that. Oh, you okay, that's the store. Yeah, Brian, I think that's not these are like sh the kind that go in like showcases and stuff. Diane, did y'all ever move into your building? 
Uh, Barbie wants all four of those for four dollars. Okay, gotcha, Barbie. Thank you. Want four? She says so. I remember one. I mean, it's been a while, but I remember you saying that you you guys were talking about moving into your building. So. Are you talking about Barbie? No, Cheyenne. Oh, okay. Yeah, I got you. This is Signature Series Designs for the Needle. Now I Lay Me Down to Sleep. It's the whole kit um, to do, you know, this little needlework or cross stitch or little pattern mm -hmm. right here. Yeah, for a baby. And, uh, I pay two ninety nine, so we can do it for a uh, three dollars, just to get it out of my little bin over here. It says it does frame size with mat eight by ten, and I think the mat, yeah, the mat's actually in here. It's already a pre cut mat, so once you get it made and you put it in there, you just need the frame. It's already got the mat for it. You just need an wow. eight by 10 frame. That's I've never good. seen them actually come with the matting, too. So, There's a few other little designs back there. Shows God's scrapbooking stuff and all, too. And some. No, didn't move. Instead of doing all my shows from there. Can't move till my mom moves out. She don't want to move there. Um, okay, so if anybody gets interested in that or decides they, they want it. These I think I got from. Did I get these from you, Cindy? These little angels and this little piece on earth one. I, I get them. Or did I find them at that store? This one I know I found at that store because it's got one of those stickers on it that they do. But this one I didn't know if it came from you. Oh, no, it came from Goodwill. It's got my Goodwill sticker on it. But if anybody's interested, these are the iron on fusible. It says, just iron on with fusible web and finish with slick paint. This is the kind of stuff my mom used to do back in the uh, early 90s. You'd, you'd put these kind of things on and you go around it with the puff paint and stuff. Yeah. I had many a shirt. She made me that way. But she used to make them and sell them. Different oh. ones. Um, these can be a dollar a piece. Anybody wants these? You got that one that says peace on earth with the little lamb and the lion. Those are the fabric that goes on there. You can see it. You can cut them out independently and all that. And then there's independent little angels. You can place them wherever, however. Barbie says right here. <laughs> That's what I say too. I have a steamer. I'll use that if I need to get wrinkles out or I'll throw it in the dryer. I don't iron anything really. I have an iron. Only if I it only if something particularly calls for it do I yeah they do look like Daisy Kingdom. Uh Daisy oh, Kingdom. Yeah, they are Daisy Kingdom. <laughs> yep, that's what they say. Yep. <laughs> it says you five short paperback fusible web. We recommend heat and bond. Nobody interested in those. Dryer, I don't iron. That's right. <laughs> Okay, here is a vintage from the 1995 Dreamsicles. These are rub-on transfers. So it shows you on the back, like, you know, you can put them on wood. Like somebody put it on a um, lampshade, on a chair. But they're cute, look, the little Dreamsicle cherubs. And it's a rub-on transfer. And it is vintage. And this one uh, would be a buy it now for $5 because it is vintage. That is cute. It shows down there it's from 1995. Oh, goodness. I'm ready whenever you're ready to. 
I haven't made any. Okay. Yeah, I haven't made anything with my Cricut maker in a while. Um, Jude some. got a Cricut for Christmas. Uh oh. Jude, how are you liking it? What have you made with yours so far? I had done those Christmas cards that one year where I took the vintage ones that I had and I, I um, scanned them in and then I had them, or no, 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 I had them print out with my Cricut and then cut them out and I used them as like little gift tags for Christmas. I've done that with it. And then my cousin's uh, wife came over and helped me with um, a vinyl and, but I ended up having to send it back with her and tell her to do it. The vinyl stuff. Oh, that is complicated. But I think I'm, I'm more geared towards like I can, I can cut out like the simple stuff with it. I got to learn more about using the online program that you have to use to do it. Okay. Yeah. We'll flip back over to you. Cause I don't have but a few more like rubber stamp type things left to do. Mm -hmm. okay. And one more giveaway. Oh, here I am. Okay. I'm surprised my hair ain't standing up. I've been pulling on it. Okay, guys. This is something I've had these for a long time. And uh, when I bought them, I don't know what I thought I would do with them. But maybe you can think of something you want to do with them. There are 10 bottles of these. You have Rose Quartz, Onyx, Red Agate, Citrine, Bamboo Coral, Crystal, Magnesite, Aventurine, Peridot, Amethyst. And they are these miniature bottles of chips. Now, a few of the chips I found over the years had holes in them, okay? Uh, but most of them don't. They're just chips, okay? And we're going to bid on these, and we're going to start bidding at $8 on these, okay? So that's less than, a, that's 80 cents a bottle. There's 10 bottles of them. They are real stones. They are chips. I bought these brand new at Hobby the Lobby. <laughs> I know before I moved here, and I've been here three years, over three years, so uh, probably about five years ago. We've got Cheyenne in at eight. But they are just little chips, but you could use them in, if you do jewelry art, you could use them in filling in between jewelry pieces. Mm -hmm. um, if you dug right. through them, you could find the ones that have holes and use them in jewelry making. There's Jude in with $10. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like Cheyenne's doing the resin art so you can embed them in the resin and stuff yeah, too. Yeah, that would be cool. That's what I'm interested in doing with resin. $11. But yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> I had them taped in there so they wouldn't fall out, but I had the tape kind of wonky there. So, yeah, you have the rose quartz, the onyx, the red agate, the citrine, the coral, the crystal, the magnesite, the venturine, peridot, and amethyst. So, yeah. So. We're at 14 with Miss Jude. Fifteen to Cheyenne. These actually came in a box that held them, but it's been under my desk for a long time and it was gross. <laughs> Sorry. So I took them all out of the box and wiped them all down so they didn't look gross. So I'm not the best housekeeper in the world. <laughs> so Jude is out. So we're going what? going twice everybody finished on this and we are sold to Cheyenne for $15 thank you Cheyenne okay so Rebecca I don't know if you're still here but I have what I call a, 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 a cross stitching kit so I have floss and it's done like this. And it actually has the uh, numbers of what colors they are. But there's blues, yellows, pinks, reds, orange, more blue. Well, that's gray on the end. And then you have greens and browns here. And they're done like that. Okay. 
So let's see how many strands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Things like this. Eighteen. 18 and then I have a piece of 8 o'clock that is brown that's 12 by 18 a piece that is white that's 12 by 18 and a piece that is ecra or beige that is 12 by 18 all brand new pieces this is all together okay this is all together so three, the, all the cloths cost between a dollar and two dollars. Well, this one is says seventy seven cents. This one was a dollar forty nine, and this one was two twenty nine. So anyway, still brand new. Then I have this, and this is a piece of metal with a magnet on it that you can um, put a copy of your pattern that you're working on and stick it to that and see. And so that all goes together. And um, if you would like this, all of it for $3, just put in the word stitch. Another stitch. <laughs> put mm -hmm. in the word stitch. $3 for all of it. You got the three pieces of eight o'clock the 18 strands of floss and then the little metal thing with the magnet so stitch is your word i didn't even tell what count those were but stitch is the word on that okay and i'm going to lay it to the side if anybody says they want it you can just say cheyenne so, said stitch cheyenne said stitch okay mm -hmm. here Loss Ada three dollars Cheyenne. Okay, so I've got something very interesting here. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Never mind, not this one. This is not what I want to show. This one here is what I want to show. Okay. I don't know. I think these are some kind of a quartz. So, uh, years ago, I started this project. It's got faux pearls. These are real stones. These are real stones. These little discs here are made out of, feels like clay or shell. So, you've got one, two, Of the big ones on this one, 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 two, three, four, five, six, seven of the little ones, those faux pearls. And then on this side, we've got one of the little ones, one of the big ones. And then, then in the bottom of the bag, there's another big one and another little one. If you would like these, they, they are real stones. I believe they're just some kind of a quartz. Uh, if you would like these, for um and they obviously have holes so you can bead with them if you would like these for two dollars two dollars uh say stone stone is your word stone two dollars stone because you've got what did i say I think four or five of the great big ones and then like about 10 of the little old ones, 10 of the littler ones. And then those, those faux pearls are just a nice bead. So anybody want that bag of stuff for $2? Stone is your word. <clears throat> okay. I have this sweet sweet set of let's see if it has a name a lot of times they have names i don't see what it says 
it says toddler girl it is what was the project i don't know what i was making I, I was making some kind of a garland and then i got tired of it y'all know that i don't have an attention span very long so it says toddler girl on it it is stickers for um scrapbooking whatever uh junk journals whatever it's a little taller girl if you'd like this set um they're brand new they've never been opened for 50 cents just say toddler 50 cents this is scrapbooking stuff toddler is your word anybody cute little pink gingham toddler set you've got the little dress the little hat a little photo little shoes book of abc's a little purse so okay okay barbie okay here we go okay i got you cheyenne Okay, <laughs> guys, I used to do a lot of scrapbooking and a lot of paper arts. I have just a bag of all kinds of little brads. You've got little polka dot, green polka dots. That's about a button size. You've got all colors of little flowers. There's some little buttons in here. Let's see. I'll show you. Here's little yellow flowers. These are brads. You got a little bag like this. There's also some grommets in here. If you have a grommet setter, uh, there's several sizes of grommets in different colors. There are some little buttons. Uh, there's even one of these things that you can use, like if you're making a flip book. Like that. Mm -hmm. anyway 50 cents brad is your word 50 cents brad is your word this is a combination of several different packages of them and i still have buckets of stuff like this so anyway brad is your word cheyenne's in for brad cheyenne okay 50 cents Cheyenne okay I have one other uh, I have a few other things so um, I love to make cards and I love for my corners to be rounded and this one here let's see here's me a piece right here this one here this one here round your corners and it cuts a little teddy bear out of it oh so, see let me see oh. <laughs> it rounds your corner on your paper and it cuts out a little teddy bear and uh it's just a punch is all it is and i have all kinds of punches that round corners it does all kinds of different round corners and um well, i'm putting it in here in the right way so that it you can see it through the thing anyway uh it actually has my initials wrote on it because you know a lot of times when you go to crafting nights and you take your stuff people pick it up and walk off so then you go back through and look for all your things anyway um this one here um uh i would like two dollars for this one and your word will be bare two dollars and your word will be bare that's me i put there <laughs> okay, Barbie's got uh, April's got her bear punch. Yes, two dollars. And I have all those other punches too. So I am going to come back next month and have have like a bunch of different punched out shapes. Okay, to sell. this is a brand new. It still has the the thing on it. 
This is just a, this came from Office Depot. It's a composition book, but the outside of it is for you to color. And it, it's just empty. I mean, it's just pages. Okay, but it's a composition and the outside is like Mandela's for you to color. So, uh, if you would like this composition book for $2, uh, um, use uh, the word Mandela, if you can spell that, Mandela. And close as you can get. $2 on this. This was given to me as a gift when Dave was in the hospital. They actually gave me a whole bunch of coloring books and stuff thinking that I could sit still to do this and this absolutely makes me as nervous as a cat <laughs> because it has to be perfect <laughs> yeah usually they say that's relaxing yeah <laughs> but for me coloring is not relaxing <laughs> but I, I'm one of those kids that wants to take my marker and go <laughs> so anybody want the uh, Mandela book that uh, colors the outside in I have a couple of those that I like um, just using the uh, images on them to, to copy and cut yeah. out. I have a whole bunch of coloring books back there. I can't get rid of them. My friend actually wrote and designed and sold them. Two of them that's on, on Amazon. Okay. I'm going to put that away. I don't see anybody saying Mandela. Okay, guys, if you're into stamping, I have all of these clear stamping stamps and these are, uh, gingerbreads you got gingerbread girl gingerbread boy gin, a dark gingerbread and then you got little gingerbreads boys and girls you've got hearts and candy canes and you've got holiday hugs christmas wishes merry christmas yummies for the tummies for you joy sweet and then it says you got some ivy leaves and some berries some little stars and uh let's start a bit on this at two dollars there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. There are more than twenty five stamps on here, guys. These are called Watson Waltzing Mouse stamps. They're from two thousand and ten. We'll start uh, Jude's in at three dollars on the gingerbread. So those are the ones that I think Kathleen was telling me. You put those on like one of those clear blocks and stamp with them or whatever. Yep, you can put them on a clear block. You can put them on almost anything. Okay. Um, you can. You don't even really have to use them. I have actually stuck them to the back of like a piece of paper. Mm-hmm. But um yeah i forget what she said it was called but she has this cool thing where it's like this plastic case and you can put them on there and then close it down and it keeps them in position or something i forget what now, the machine i have called. the i use to store all of my angel stamps that were kind of like this that were not on blocks in cd cases ah okay so you don't have to have a block. You can literally stick these on the back of anything. Oops. Trying to, I mean, literally. Yeah, a misty. That's what Kathleen said it's called, a misty. And then Rebecca said a mini mister. So there's, I guess, a couple of different ones that you can find that do those. But, yeah, you like she said, you can just go get you some probably dollar store block or something or actually if you wanted to you could cut this off of the plastic and just use it like that because mm -hmm. it's going the right way to stamp in order to do that you could just cut it off of the plastic or barbie yeah. said styrofoam yeah. yeah you can put it on anything so uh you put them on your yeah you put them on your Acrylics. Cheyenne's in at three fifty. We got Jude at four. Uh, 
and I'm going to throw these in with this. This is some more of that style. They're just the little clear stamps, and this is for graduation. If mm. you make graduation cards, I'm going to throw these in together, okay? So we've got Jude in it for going once. Cheyenne said she's out. Going twice. So to Jude for four dollars. Thank you, Jude. Okay. Huh. Okay, guys. This is brand new. Uh, it was actually in a box that was the original box, but the box was all tore up, so I took it out. This is a little heart pillow with an arrow stick pin in it. It is from Avon and it is from the 1980s. So it is more than vintage. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, let's start. Uh, let's start this at two dollars, guys. Two dollars on this. Anybody interested in that? That is a stick pen. It is a piece of jewelry. It's not just a. To stick in the pillow, it's it is a piece of jewelry. My brother drove all the way up to North Georgia with his roommates to go get a new puppy. Oh. And it, it's so cute. <laughs> he what sent me pictures. What kind of puppy? It's it's a mixed puppy. Um, let me ask him real quick what it's mixed with. It's kind of got scruffy little. It almost looks like like a like a pit bull puppy would look like, but then it's scruffy because of the other breed that it's mixed with. It's so cute. <laughs> I was looking to see and the box here that was in the trash, and I was looking to see if it is says the date on it, but I don't see it. Oops. It is it says it's a sachet pillow, so it has the scent timeless. <laughs> So, he said Boston Terrier and Shih Tzu mix. Oh, that would be cute. So, here right. I'll take a little picture. Anybody on that? I did pull the box, but see, it has a hole in it. But uh, uh, if you're interested, the box smells like the perfume. So. Anyway, nobody interested. Okay, we'll pass on it. Okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is that right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight of these. These are those day spring stickers. There are they're acid free. There's four sheets of them. They're day spring. Solemn Springs. Eight of them. A quarter a page. A quarter a package. They're brand new. Never been opened. If anybody wants some. Y'all know you've seen these. They say celebrate. Praying for you. There shall be showers of blessings. Those who love the Lord shine. A happy heart makes the face cheerful. You are one of a kind. You are a masterpiece. Two are better than one. I thank God for you. And they all say the same thing. Anybody? Quarter a piece, quarter a package. I know I've offered these before, but I bought a bunch of them. Mm -hmm. So I have a bunch of them in my booth. Nobody? Okay. Uh, I'm almost to the end, April. Okay, and then you can do your other giveaway, and then I'll, I've got just a few more things, and then I'll do my last giveaway. Okay, guys, I have five of these. These are, uh, you can use these for all kinds of things. You can hang them on a rod, clip pictures to them. Organize your scarves and stuff like that. Organize your scarves, and I have five of them. There are five of these. Um, if you would like these for a dollar, 
Clip will be your word. Clip will be your word. I see people craft with these a lot. So, clip will be your word. I got you, Cheyenne. Okay, this is going to be my last thing, and then uh, I will do my last giveaway. Okay, I have a bag of stamps. Some of these are brand new. Some of them are not, <laughs> and they need spray. This one was originally $6.99. It's never been used, and uh, we're going to start. Let me just count how many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. There are seven, and we'll start the bidding on these. Sorry, Rebecca, she beat you, hon. We'll start the bidding on these at, um, there are seven stampers in there. We'll start at $2, okay? So this one says, I'll show you, number one, dad. Okay, brand new. Never been used. $6.99 was the original price. Number one, dad. This one here is a little ribbon on a little plastic thing. Uh, these are made by Fiskars. Christmas ribbon, that's what you get there. That's a cute one. This one here is a little flower. It has been used. A good spray of alcohol would take a bunch of that ink off. This is what you're looking at little flower this one says hello this one is another little flower there are some more big ones in here okay uh, this one is adorable this one is a puppy <laughs> with a little bone and he has been used I will take, I have some ink cleaner. I will take some ink cleaner and spray these off real good before I ship them. Happy birthday. And then this great big one says happy birthday also. And letters like that. Happy birthday. So we've got Cheyenne in at $2 on those. Anybody else interested? in that we'll see anybody uh going once going twice final warning and we're sold to cheyenne for a dollar two dollars sorry two dollars So to Cheyenne for two dollars. Stampers. Two dollars. Cheyenne. Okay. Before I give my last giveaway, I want to make sure I don't know what I said on that. Does anybody remember what I said on the stones? Tell me what I said on them and uh I'll mark a dollar off of it. Did I say did you show those before? Uh-huh. I know. You've got I natural that. stones, some natural stones in there. You've got some pearlized beads, and you've got these little th things here that feel like clay. Hmm. I think I said I think I said three dollars. If anybody wants them for two, you can have them for two on the I'll, stones. I'll take those for two. Yeah, add those are my stuff. Okay. I must have missed that. That must have been when I stepped away a while ago. Yeah. Okay. And I'm done. My last giveaway, guys. Here we go. Is a Valentine giveaway. So I'm going to pull it all apart. I've got a pair of heart, silver tone, heart earrings. They are not Marcusite. They are just hearts. 
I've got the matching double heart brooch and I've got a gold tone heart brooch. So whoever picks the number, it will be yours. Now we'll bring it back to both of us that way. I can show the number. Yep, pick your number. Jude's like. <laughs> <laughs> hey Kathleen Hey Kathleen you, Martin How are you? This is number two giveaway I don't know if you had said hi in the chat But I see you there now Hi Joyce Yeah, you were talking about the other night about hair growth. And that's what I was saying. Ever since I did that big chop off of my hair, it's grown, but it's not growing like it used to grow. So it's still like not that long anymore. We're doing your good. Hair, your hair is real long compared to mine. And I saw a picture earlier today of mine real short. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I need it like that again. Right now, I need it like that. When I went to if visit, I could get into a hairdresser every time I wanted my haircut, I would be bald. <laughs> I went to visit my grandmother when she was in the in hospice. Uh, it's been a few weeks back now, or so, maybe a month. And uh, she was telling me, "Oh, your hair is so pretty," you know. And I hadn't seen her in a real long time. I, and I told her, I said, you know, but you used to, I remember when I was little, you used to fuss at me because my hair was so, you'd call it nappy and you'd be trying to get all the, you know, brush it out or whatever. And it'd be all tangled up because of the curls and everything. I said, and I remember that time you chopped my hair off like a boy and she laughed a little bit, you know, she, she's in real bad health, but she still laughed about it. And she's like, I made a mistake, didn't I? I was like, yeah. I said, it kind of caused me a little complex there for many years. <laughs> where I had to grow my hair out all the way down to my butt just to prove to myself that I could have long hair. <laughs> uh, but now I'm just got done. their number in. Hey, Joyce Barnett. I don't know you, but welcome. Yeah, that's a new name that we're seeing now. So if you, uh, if you happen to win this, you'll need to send me your information so I can ship it to you. So you're getting in on our very end. We're about to be done. Oh, I didn't pick the number. Let's see. Hmm. Put your number in, April. Um, what numbers are already taken? I'm going to do... I see 22 and 54. There we go. I picked one. Okay, Cheyenne. I tried to get these as clean as I could. You may have to use some more ink cleaner on them. My ink cleaner was almost gone. Are we ready? Did you put stop? No, no not yet. Oh, there's Rebecca. Thanks, Rebecca, for coming in. Here we go. There's stop. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we get from the machine. Little thing. I'm always worried it's going to fall out and drop and hit the floor. 54. Ah, oh, Miss Anna won. And more congratulations. Congratulations. I guess nobody above her had 54. Nobody. So. 17 was the first number that was chewed. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, heart. Okay. All that right. was Anamora. We're going to use the same numbers and do the one for mine too. Okay, which wait. I need to put in a number. Was a small Jenga tower game. Oh, no, that's program. okay. I have like four of those. <laughs> I won't put my number in. And so I these are like tiny different. little wooden blocks that you can use to craft with or whatever. Or you could give it as a gift to a child or an adult. But it was one that I know the kids had gotten for Christmas and they, did, they don't want it. They didn't want the other one. So <laughs> they don't play with it anymore. But one is we already got the number, so let's just do the little the little drawing again and see what we get. 
And the number is 27. 27. I see 22. I saw 22 a while ago. Um, you don't need to count me because I had 25. Don't count me. Yeah. Okay. So we got 22 um, was Joyce. But Cheyenne has 32. That's five away. 27 and 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. That's five away. 22 is five away, but Cheyenne's is first. Okay, Cheyenne's so came in Cheyenne first. Your, it looks like Cheyenne is your winner. All right. So, Thank you, Cheyenne. You're the winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. And Joyce, I'm not sure, but if I don't have your information, if you can send it to me, that way during the drawings and stuff, I'll know where to send the prize to. To you. And let me put that down here in the chat. Grizzly Bear Vintage at Outlook.com. I'll just need your name and your address. And if you're going to purchase or ever believe that you will purchase in the future, we'll just need your uh, PayPal email address. All right, so let me set that to the side and get that out of the way, and we'll do the last few things that I have. Here is a, it's called See Me Sew Designer Fabric Tote Bag DIY Kit. It includes a fabric panel, embellishment, and complete instructions to create a fabulous fabric tote bag. And it shows the image of what the tote bag would look like right there. And it's regularly $7.99 if you would like this tote bag kit to make your own tote bag. And like it says, it does come with the fabric. Uh, $5 and the first one to enter in. You can write bag. Your word would be bag. And I'm not sure where it origin originally comes from, though, but... Seems real nice from 2012. Tote bag DIY kit. Anyone looking for a sewing project? All right, we will set that to the side. Anyone else wanted some more rubber stamps? I've got a lot of these uh, wooden rubber stamps over here still. Got one right here that'll be great for Valentine's Day. It's got hearts and stuff on it. And we'll pull all these out over here so that way we can show them. Okay, so this one is one the one that goes on the roller style. And it says different little words, imagine, you know, like inspirational words, adventure, stuff like that. This goes on one of the little roller stampers. If you're interested in that one, just type the word roller and you can have that one for two dollars. Two dollars roller. We'll kind of go through these a little bit quickly. I have these block ones that are from Stampendous. This one has different floral patterns and such on each side of the block. This one would be a $5 one. You can type floral and block for $5. Those were all the images it stamps out on each side of it. That's pretty. I thought those were pretty neat. Um, I've got another one. This one has three sides. It's from Fun Stamps. It says it was originally $14.50. It has different textures. 
and those okay. yeah different textures but just that those one are neat. three dollars and you could type block three dollars you want kathleen the says want flowers okay gotcha kathleen just a puppy hi boo boo He's so rotten. He smells funky. These are real pretty. These are fruits. You got grapes and lemons and maybe like an apple, I think. And these have never been used. You have to you have to adhere them to the blocks that come in there with it. Oh, that's stamp up too. You're stamping up. Mm-hmm. And comes and I, with I bet you money paint. those are vintage. I'm pretty sure. Let's see. 2002 close i guess right because what is it now 2001 no it's 2021 <laughs> no no i mean for vintage to be considered vintage yeah that it it's has either to be 2000 or 2001. 2001 2001 these are 2002 uh, so next year they'll be vintage but they're brand new never think, used unopened five dollars stamping up i think kathleen wants those too but i'm not sure she says want Okay, Kathleen, if that's the one you're wanting, the fruits right here, just type fruit, and I got you for $5. Okay. Sorry, Rebecca, she did ask right before you. I've got some more, though. Don't worry, i got some more. Um... This one right here, I'll do a uh, dollar on it. It's brand new, never used, stamp abilities, normally $3.99. It just says it's a girl. So if you're doing baby shower stuff or gender reveals or something of that sort, the dollar for it's a girl, just type in girl. I have a stamping up large flower. It says it's called Big Blossom. And it hasn't been constructed. It, you, you put that on there and you got to put the sticker and stuff on there and everything. It's in its original case. $5 for that one. Cheyenne wants the girl. Got you, Cheyenne. Anybody want the large flower? The really large flower. It's it's big. Okay, I have this one that has the hearts. If you're doing any Valentine stuff, this one's Don House Don Houser, excuse me, from Inka Dinka Do. Looks like this has these different little hearts on it and everything. That one is cool. And it has been used, but it looks like it's been very lightly, like maybe one time used. And it looks like they were only trying to use a couple of the hearts that they didn't use the whole thing. Yeah. When you do things like that, if you only want to use part of it, you can tape off the other parts and not. And that one we will do, um, a, we'll do a $3 on that big large stamper there. We have Rebecca for hearts. Okay, got you, Rebecca. Puppy, you got to be still. You're going to fall. Okay, let's see. This one. I'm going to do this whole bag of them here. You get one, two, three, four stamps in here. There's an angel like that, a little country angel by rubber stamped called Country Angel. We got a Celtic, Celtic design from 2003 from Stamp Abilities. Actually, I take that back. It looks like that on the front, but it has a wavy pattern on the back. Man, that sucks because that's really pretty. But it does have a wavy pattern on the back. Then you have this one says, thanks so much. 
brand new, never used. It's a designer one, Colette Hall from 2006. Bouquet that says thanks so much. And it's brand new. And then you have some party streamers that look like this. 1993 Stampendous. And it's, yeah, it's called Streamers. It has been used. So that whole bag here, these can go for $4. That'd be a dollar a piece on those. $4 for those rubber stamps. <laughs> Judy's saying hi to Rascal. <laughs> she doesn't even see him. She just hears me talking to him. <laughs> The rotten puppies, what him is. You want that last set for four dollars? Just save one. Here's the next uh, bag set that I'm going to do all together. This one again is going to be kind of like the other one. I have I have the wooden block with the stamps missing on the back, so you can actually use this one that hasn't been adhered. And it's got stars and stuff on it. You could use that one to put it on there to stamp it. This one's unused. It's a beautiful like rose bouquet. That one made by, I don't know. It doesn't have a name on that one. This one's been used. It's this cool design like that. And magenta made in Canada is all it has printed on that one. And somebody wrote their name on it. You have this little flower design there. Has a little bit of paint on there. And looks like this. Never. It doesn't really look like it's been used. It just looks like whatever that paint was got on to it a little bit. Then you have this little heart. Looks unused to me. And these, I'm not sure. They have a sticker like that, but it doesn't doesn't say a particular brand and then you've got this little love one here it looks unused to me no brand on that one one two three four five six in that one we can do five dollars on those six if anybody wants those Um, I don't notice any buffering on my end. Not buffering on my end. Okay, this one is called Mustache Background by Stamp Abilities. And it looks like it's been used like once. It was reg regularly $9.99. It's got a whole bunch of mustaches on it. Looks like that when you stamp it out. And that one I'll do for $5 on that large stamp there. Feel better soon, Kathleen. So five on that one. That's the, the mustache. Five on that whole set there of six in that one. And then the last bit of them that I have is four of these that have different kind of look like vintage sort of stamps. This one says Les Loose Paris. And it is from Don Hauser again. Then you have this one that says Ropon. Another I'm getting those are all French. <laughs> Yeah, Tachula. They all look like they're like stamps from other parts of the world, like if the mail had stamped it with some kind of stamp. And then that one says 19, March 29th, 1962, Tachula. not sure what country that's in. It sounds like a Mexican town. And then we have Hotel, June 5th, 1901, Nana I'm. And these are all by that Don Hauser designer. So there's four of those, and we'll do those four for five dollars. Those are really cool. And that is that is the rest of what I have, unless you need some cross stitch fabric. 
because I still have these rolls of the cross stitch, stitch fabric, Charles Craft Classic Reserve. If you need any of these, they're 15 by, 5, uh, 15 by 18 pieces. Okay, Tatula is in Mississippi. Okay, thanks, Jude. We didn't know. <laughs> Sound Mexican. A light pink, a light blue, and a white. If you need any of these, these I will sell for uh, $2 a piece. Fabric. How many of those do you have? I have uh, two pink, two white, and one pale baby blue color. And the stickers, their original stickers said they were $4 a pack. And they're vintage eight o'clock. That's what you were calling them, right? Eight o'clock? Yep, they're eight o'clock. Yeah, all cotton, it says. Boop, boop. And another know vintage because the stickers, the original stickers on here... I picked them up at Goodwill, but yeah, the stickers are older. That one's called Blush. Let's see. That one's called Blush, but the other ones don't have the color on there. If it's worth your time, it's worth Charles Craft. <laughs> I'm glad you're getting better, Kathleen. Me too. Yeah, she's been feeling real bad lately. And a lot of hers, you know, is agitated by the fact that she already has those kind of upper respiratory issues. But if um, no one's interested in the rest of that stuff, and I still have a bunch of things we passed earlier, then I am done. I'm done too. Stick a fork in me. I'm done. <laughs> Somebody needs to come cook supper for me at my house. We decided on making uh, making uh, vegetarian pizzas. That's what we're going to do. So he went to go uh, get it. I have, have all my stuff separated and wrote down to do invoices, but I've got to bag it up and weigh it because I have a lot that needs weighed. So anyway, so. Just to say, hi, to boo -boo. You want to say hi? Say hi to all the friends. Oh. Uh, we just want to see mama. Are you wanting specifically corner rounds? Um, because oh, I don't know talking about any of those, but if if I can find them, I'll go check the craft stores around here. Let me look and see if I have one that I'm willing to part with. Because I know I've, I've found those uh, stampers recently, and I'd asked the last time if anybody was interested in me uh, you know, cutting them out of the nice scrapbook paper and stuff and making punches for, you know, scrapbooking where I can just sell like the little bags of shapes and stuff to y'all for like a dollar. I can do that. Um, but you're looking for all types of hole punches. Okay. Yeah. I'll make sure that I go out in the next few days or so and I go check my craft stores and see if I can find any deals or I'll go to the thrift stores as well. See if I come across them. You like my glasses? Thank you. They are um, Ralph Lauren is the brand of them. And I, I got them at Lens Crafters. And these are the new ones that I got last year. Usually I'll wear my glasses till they basically fall apart. <laughs> but I was excited to get, I love the little vintage style sort of shape. And I liked the blue color of them. I've never had blue ones before. Let me make sure this one works. And if it does, I'll, I'll okay. let them have it for a dollar. Thank you. Uh, what is that? Those are little notepads. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah, I'll probably send out my invoices tomorrow. Because I got to go cook tonight and all that. And then I'll get tomorrow and start making my invoices and weighing and packaging up everything. I collect yeah. naked stamps if you ever see them yep. if i ever, if i ever see naked people is that a brand or is it the stamps are of <laughs> naked people? <I> really no <laughs> but if i find them i'll let you know rebecca <laughs> okay hold on i got that naked man ring that i found that time <laughs> that sterling silver one it's like the oddest piece of jewelry i ever found 
She said no of naked people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Jamer says, I want to know too. <laughs> uh, shouldn't know. Jamie's going to be popping on that one. Okay, hold on. Funny ones and artsy type ones. Gotcha. gotcha. Okay, hold on. Let me trade. Let me trade stampers here. And maybe I'll do a video of me um, doing one of these excavation kits that I was selling today. So I can show y'all what, what kind of stuff comes out of them. Okay. Ah, see, Cheyenne said she got a sterling silver ring of a couple doing the wild thing. There are some oh, weird yeah. pieces out there that I, mine is a naked man, like and fully atomically correct. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Cheyenne. The only two that I have are not, they're not stamping real good. I mean, they're not cutting real good. So I hate to offer you them that's not cutting. She, so. said she can honestly say she does not have any naked people stamps. <laughs> Me neither. I think people around here are so conservative. Like, that's not something I've ever even seen in the store. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. I well, haven't seen it around I don't have it on yet. the shelf here, but I might be lo get lucky and come across it in the thrift store where somebody probably okay. ordered it online or something. Let me. I want to show Cheyenne something. Okay, Cheyenne, I'll look out for it so I can see what you're talking about. <laughs> Cheyenne, if you can ever find one like this, these are the best kind. <laughs> and let me just like this that look like this. And they make really nice corners. Um, I couldn't even begin to tell you where I got it. It doesn't have a brand on it. And they are easy to punch with. Mm -hmm. Versus sometimes these little ones get stiff. And like the first one that I found and pulled out, it was stiff. And so they make really nice corners though. See where those is a little wonky that I made them with another stamper. So. Anyway, but yeah, if you ever can find one like that. So anyway. No, Jude, I don't think you've told us the kneeling Santa story. And Kathleen, yeah, we'll get to we'll get to crafting crafting again and doing a craft with me video again soon. We'll start those back up again. So uh, these here, I have these two here. But uh, this one is it stamp it cuts good, but it's a little stiff. Sometimes it doesn't want to pop back up. And then this one here, it wasn't cutting very good. Let me get a brand new piece of paper. When they get stiff like that, can you spray them with like WD forty or anything? I don't know. I've never tried. You just take some scrap paper that you don't want and just stamp it to get the oil or excess oil off of it, maybe. Okay, now this one is working good. That one done a really nice corner. This pink one. Done a really nice corner. So if you want it for a dollar, Cheyenne, you can have this pink one for a dollar. Because I've got my I've got my big blue one. So Jude said my sister's church, a huge church, I'm assuming she means, had a manger set up inside at Christmas. They decided it would be nice to have Santa arrive during the service and kneel before the manger. Okay, Cheyenne wants both. Okay, now this one's not for sale. This one I was just showing you to get one like it. But you can have both of these. I'll give them both to you for a dollar fifty total. This one is just a little stiff. So but you can have them both for a dollar fifty. So Okay, I'm, wa I'm waiting to hear some more. They just haven't said, okay. Yeah, that's so what I'm saying. Happened. Come on, tell us what happened. <laughs> yes, both for $1.50, she said. So the only problem was when Santa knelt down in the front of the manger, his pants went down and revealed his big old butt crack to the whole congregation. <laughs> <laughs> um, that sounds like something that would happen here in Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something that happened in Georgia too, don't it? It does. It does. My ex-husband, yeah. he always had the plumber's crack thing going. Yeah. Okay. 
Oh my gosh, that's funny. Yeah, try the aluminum foil to sharpen it. Mm hmm Yeah. All right, so yeah, we'll be back again, I guess, next month with a March craft. Oh my goodness. And hopefully before. No, okay. Oh yeah, this week, yeah. I was going to say no, that this, but this is February, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, I know it's flying by, but I'm ready for spring so I can start planting and gardening again. So I don't know about you guys, but uh, 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 of course, the silly little groundhog saw a shadow. But uh, we're supposed to get cold, cold weather here. Cold, like lows in the teens <laughs> next oh. week. I'm like, holy moly. My mom mm -hmm. gave me a quilt for my new bed. And it's real heavy. And last night it was like too heavy. And I'm like kicking it off. And I thought, I bet I'll kick that sucker off next week. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I and hope we like get that cold here. The so, yeah, it's supposed to be really cold. And Snowbird Bob, y'all know I love Snowbird Bob. But Snowbird Bob says that parts of the nation are going to get major snow and ice storms i'm just like please jesus no ice storm please please that please. groundhog is a liar <laughs> that groundhog is a liar and have you yeah. ever seen your shadow in a snowstorm well i've never been in a snowstorm do i have any great big hole punches to make circles <laughs> if i do i don't know where they are right at this moment but i think i've already sold all them because after I got my uh, my cuddle bug and my cricket, I didn't need them no more. Um, mm -hmm. Which I don't make them with my cricket, but my cuddle bug, I have all kinds of circle die cuts for it. So yeah. I just use it if I want to make circles. But I, I really don't do a lot of paper crafting anymore. And so I really don't need no circles. All I'm doing is just the kind of craft y'all saw me do at Christmas. So. Okay. I really thought that I would find more uses for my cricket, but to be honest, oh, listen, I haven't. <laughs> like my, my cuddle I'm, bug, I love my cuddle bug because I've got that for stamping out jewelry, you right. know, metal. But like this one, I'm like, eh, I might use it every now and then. I bought after Christmas. I bought a um, I bought a silhouette cameo. Mm. Uh, I used one, one of the first ones. And uh, uh, I just got in today. I got a new cutting blade for it and the mat. I got a really good deal on it, but I had to buy everything. I had to buy the power cord, everything to go with it. And so by the time I got done, I spent probably a hundred dollars on it. So, but uh, uh, there we go. Anyhow, <laughs> so but yeah. Uh, Cheyenne says she has the Vagabond Maker and the Joy. I don't even know about the Vagabond. I don't. I'll have okay. to up. Vagabond Maker. Or, you, no, have a, you have Vagabond. a Cricket Joy? The joy, cricket joy. joy. I wanted the Cricket Joy, but I was too stinking cheap to buy it. The thing that makes me mad about my Cricket is all these years that I've had it, I did not realize I could take it online. And if I'd have realized that, I would have done so much more with it. So, yeah. Now that I've realized it, they That's phased out bad. the they phased out the program to connect it with. Like, oh no. Oh, oh, uh, mm, I got to get a new floor mat because I've got pieces of my floor mat that are broke and so when I try to roll my chair up it just uh, it don't roll right. You can get so. you one of those like plastic mats that you set down up right up right there where you're that's terrible. what i'm talking about i'm on a plastic uh -huh. mat that's all cracked <laughs> oh okay gotcha so, i've had it for a while so but yeah, yeah the joy i think that one probably would be much easier to use than this this one is and you know like doing little things like stickers and stuff like that that would be fun to use the joy but this one here like my problem is i sat down in front of the cricket uh app or you know site on the computer and just trying to learn how to maneuver through there and because i'm cheap and i don't want to pay for the just already done things i'm trying to copy images or 
you know, do that kind of thing and adjust them and make them work. And that gives me a headache. I just, I'm not a graphic. Well, designer. You should have, you should have some free images that come with it. Do you not? I don't okay. think I got any free one. Well, yeah, I think you get some free lettering. Somebody in the chat might can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think anything free came with it when I bought it. I got some supplies with it, but not any of the programs that I know of. So now I thought that the newer <laughs> ones did not have places for the cartridges, but. Uh, you don't have any glue sticks, Jamie? <laughs> <laughs> She's like she owns a glue gun. Anyone impressed? Uh -huh. I was going back and catching that. <laughs> I have so, one. Too. Uh, Jamie, I have so many glue guns. It's not even funny. <laughs> she, no, Cheyenne's like, yeah. If you pay the member access, she said. I guess is it is that the paid part of it? Because I see them on there and. The only thing I, I was able to use off of there was some of the lettering and stuff without having to pay. I will tell you that what I've seen so far, the silhouette okay, she said that. studio oh. is a lot easier to use than what the Cricut studio was ever. So, mm -hmm. but well, anyway. I, never, I never tried the one where you had to punch the buttons and program it on the thing, the one that you had before. I, I've never tried that before. Uh, it's not a competition. Do you say sure, it's always a competition. Dollars nine a month? Nine, only nine dollars a month? One if I million. used it enough, then I, I would say, yeah, I might sign up. But that's right. There are a couple of thing, projects that they have on there that are listed as free member or whatever. There might be just a few, but now if you pay per month, then I think you have access to a bunch more. I pay 127 a year for premium access. Wow. So you find yourself using yours a lot. What do you do with with your Cheyenne or do you make like cards and sell them in your store or do you make the packaging that you ship your jewelry in or what do you find yourself using your uh, machines for the most? Okay. I almost got shocked on your coffee. Oh, choked on your coffee. Oh no. <laughs> What I like is that I can drag on an image from the internet, crop it on my desktop and use it in the Cricut. Yeah. And see, that's what I'm talking about when it comes to doing that. Like I know how to copy it and bring it over and put it in there. But then a lot of times trying to get the right dimensions for it, or I've been skewed it somehow and it don't look quite right. Like I think it's because I don't have a technical brain, like when it comes to stuff like that. She makes a lot of decals, coasters, anything I can add a decal to. Okay. I, like cups, mugs, those bottles, all that kind of thing. Yeah, I'm with you, Kathleen. I'm all manual, too. Computers blow my mind sometimes. You do ceramic coasters, four for five dollars, like dragonflies, butterflies, elephants, Darth Vader. That's cool. I love craft fairs because all the stuff is done. <laughs> That's right. I make stencils to use on my printing plate. Now, how do you make stencils? Just like you carve them out of like whatever material. Wood signs. Welcome. But come Halloween, I'll be making decorations. Sounds cool. All right, guys. Well, we will say goodbye today. We'll see you sometime between now and our next craft sale. And I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.